America the Beautiful annual pass holders. In this episode of Driving Dreams, we will be heading from Florida's nature coast up into Florida's panhandle, where, just outside of the state's capital, we will be purchasing our America the Beautiful Pass, something we had desired for many years up to this point. Then, after one night of camping for free in Apalachicola National Forest, just outside of Tallahassee, we will be using our America the Beautiful Pass for the first time in Alabama, on our way to New Orleans, itself on our way to Colorado. This cross-country camping road trip is our first practice run in our Honda Element, which will be taking us from the northern tip of North America to the southern tip of South America. Come along and enjoy! The sprawled out big cities in Florida make it seem like everything is developed, but this is also Florida. Ooh, driving around the Americas Ooh, so if you're following along and you can't get enough Ooh, we're driving you around the Americas Ooh, support the channel and hit the like button Basically from Tampa area, north, all the way to where we're at now, which is approaching Tallahassee, uh, along the west coast has basically been that scene, just expansive forest and no real development. There's some small towns and rural communities, but that's basically what it's looked like. And Nace is back there doing some art. This is what she was making. <coughs> this is what she made while we were driving. A butterfly. She's a good artist and she likes to draw things even while we're driving. Pretty cool. Our road, cutting through basically nothing but forest for hundreds of miles, was beautiful. At times feeling as if straight out of a storybook. And though we would have loved to take in the scenery longer, we knew that this journey of ours which had just commenced would never allow us much time in one scene, instead showing us the diverse lands of the Americas fluidly, as if the scenery were water in a tumultuous sea, and we were on a sturdy ship, weathering every storm and basking in every peaceful lull, taking it all in and recording it all for you. Here at the Wakula Ranger Station in Apalachicola National Forest and we're going to get our America the Beautiful interagency pass so that we can get into all the parks half off, all national parks, all national forests. Um, pretty awesome pass. It's $80 and it's for a year so it'll save thousands of dollars. We got our pass! I've been wanting this for a while now, but now we, we really have a reason to use it. We'll be using it all the time. America the Beautiful annual pass holders. Mesa too. So yeah, getting the America the Beautiful pass was actually really straightforward. You just go into a place that sells it, which actually that is the tricky part because not many places sell them in person. You can order it online, but going into an office, we went into a ranger's office, the Wakula District Ranger Office in Apalachicola uh, National Forest, which is in Tallahassee. But you can go into most ranger's offices will sell them. If they don't, you should always call ahead though because sometimes they don't have them yet. Like we. We're going to go to the USDA Forest Service office in Tallahassee, but they don't have them yet. So make sure you call ahead first. Um, but anyways, when you go in to get it, you literally just walk in, say you want it. They'll be prepared and ready to sell it to you. That's one of the few things that they do with 
walk-in customers there. Um, and yeah, you go in, tell them what you want. They will, and at the Ranger office we went to, it was kind of funny because they, um, he said he gets like one customer a day that wants any kind of pass that he has to process with a credit card machine. So that credit card machine was off and he has to boot it up and it takes about 30 minutes for that. But luckily we were aware of that since we called ahead. He said to bring in cash if we wanted to go faster, um, but we forgot to get cash. So anyways, we waited for that to boot up. It was a really pretty office inside. It was really cool, very foresty. It was a dead bear, a dead, two dead foxes, and a dead neck and head of a deer sticking out of the wall. Yes, there was a bunch of stuffed animals. Or, they were not stuffed. They're, they're, they're called stuffed. They've been stuffed. Yeah. They're called stuffed animals. Real stuffed animals. They were real, but they were dead. Yes, there was once living animals on the walls, which was pretty interesting, but um, it was a cool vibe in there. Like, they have all kinds of info on even, everything to do with forestry. And they even made a pizza of wild fire. Yeah, they have. A bunch of stuff on fires, they have all kinds of maps, and they have a lot of, a wealth of knowledge, so it's a cool place to go in before you get into a uh, national forest or somewhere like that, but let me turn you around and show you my view right now. That view is of Tallahassee, Florida's state capital, a medium-sized city basically surrounded by forests. So yeah, anyways, I've been super excited about getting that pass for a while now, and we finally have one, and... Um, now we're going to head into our first national forest. We're not going to use it tonight because the spot we're staying at is free. Um, but tomorrow we'll get half off our spot. And any other time we go to a national park, forest, anything like that. At the ranger station, we also got some good detailed directions from the ranger about how to get into our campground tonight. And it's a good thing we did because the directions we were gonna go um, was apparently a, unbeknownst to us, a 20 to 30 mile drive down a dirt road. Um, and we're super weighed down right now and it was raining, so that's not something we would have, uh, possibly wouldn't have even made it there. But it wouldn't have been fun even if we did. So I got different directions and we went around the forest and are entering a different way in so that we can get paved roads the whole way. But yeah, we're, we're almost into Apalachicola National Forest, just outside of Tallahassee. We're gonna go in there, spend the night, set up the tent, uh, and then leave early in the morning on to Alabama is our next stop. Our tent site tonight is free, but it's first come, first served. So. We'll show you the place when we get there. Hopefully we get a spot. We should because it's slow season in Florida. It's summer. Um, and yeah, come along. The road that we ended up taking into the campground was in fact much better than a 30 mile dirt road. Almost the entire way was paved and what wasn't paved was nicely maintained. So thank you to the rangers. It was still a long road and much of it was without cell service, but it was nice that it was at least paved and we could confidently get there without sinking into wet sand. Tonight we're staying at the Porter Lake Hunt Camp. It is not hunt season right now, so it functions as a, a primitive campground. Um, there's basically you just set up wherever you want in there. I was worried that it would be full or that all the sites would be taken if there were sites, but it looks like it's just open and there's one person camping and they're off the side. We didn't even see them when we pulled in. So what we're gonna do for tonight is just set up camp inside of Spicy. We're going to sleep inside of him. 
Uh, we're gonna set up the bed and we put our tent and some things on the roof so that we can have some extra space. And yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's very quiet. Um, in the middle of wilderness, we're in the National Forest, Apalachicola National Forest. So peaceful. Super peaceful. But yeah, you see the, this is where people do their hunt camp, their hunting activities. You'll see this looks like a wash station. Over there is where they hang up the animals to process them. And then there. There's some vault toilets in the bathroom. In case you don't have trip tips like us, link in the description below. And no one out here except for back there there's a tent. But other than that, and up here it's just spicy and us. Border Lake. Setup this time was a little bit better than last time we slept in the car at our friend's house in the driveway. Um, I'll actually link that video though up top so you can watch it if you'd like. Um, that first time we had to set up by moving a bunch of stuff out of the car. This time everything is in the car, almost so a couple things, just the tent is on the roof of the car, but everything else is in here. Um, we got everything set up, but it is hot. We It took a lot of energy. And with the doors all closed and windows all closed because of the bugs, we have these fans going. Can you move Nasa? Nasa has no clothes on, so I'm going to move her out of the way so you can't see her. Come towards me. So I show the other side. Yeah. Okay. This is the front of the car. Right now it's loaded pretty much, packed. Um, luckily we're in the National Forest so we wouldn't have to move. We're in a spot where we won't have to move overnight or it would take probably 30 minutes to fix. These are our fans over there. We also have a fan on our side. And we are very hot. We're going to settle down for the night. It's still light outside as you can see from our sunroof, moonroof. We also have this nice uh, reflectix on the windows that uh, we're not fully done with uh, upholstering it, but some of them are done. And then we Velcroed them up here and here. And the front ones are just sticking in. The front, the very front one is being held by stuff. That one's Velcroed. That one's just sticking in. The back is Velcroed. And yeah, we made those. If you want to see how we made those, there's a video uh, during our pit stop in Orlando recently. We made these and did some other stuff for the car. Pizza. I'll link that video up top now. Mm. Anyways, we're going to settle down for the night and we'll check in with you all in the morning and let, us, let you know how our night went. So last night was pretty tough, y'all. Um, we did end up getting some good sleep. Well, good is a relative term. Um, we ended up getting some sleep. And we didn't get, you know, no nobody knocking on the windows. No loud noise out here. Um, we had the place to ourselves. But it was hot. Hot like a oven in the car. Um, because we had to set it up. We had to set up the bed area without getting, without letting bugs in. So we had to set it up with the doors closed and we set it up with the car off, which probably we would change next time. We'll, we'll set it up with it on and the AC on because all that heat from our energy being released from setting it up for about an hour it took, maybe, maybe more, maybe an hour and a half it took to set up the, the interior to sleep. And during that time, all our heat was releasing. We were just sweating like crazy. It was super hot. It was hard to breathe. We had all three fans on, but still it was mostly heat circulating. Finally, we got it set up and we got to sleep um, midnight sometime. Once the sun was down and we weren't moving around, it did end up getting um, much cooler. And we were able to sleep for pretty much the middle of the night uh at least you know several hours like some good good 
sleep, pretty much. Maybe six hours of good sleep. And then a few hours of on and off. But this morning, the sun's coming back out. We're moving around in there now that we're woken up and it's getting hot again. So we're going to pack up and head on to our next destination, which is Konica National Forest in Alabama. And we're going to get a spot there. It's a little bit less primitive. Um, I believe there's a bathhouse. And there is definitely a nice lake. And it's a big recreation area that a lot of people use. There's like 74 designated spots campsites um, with some being hookup sites for RV. I don't know if there's a bathhouse, but I think there is, but it's going to be a little less remote than this one. Um, we had to drive 15 miles into the National Forest to find this spot, and it's a hunt camp during hunting season, so it's, it's very secluded. It was nice, but there's no real bathhouse. Like We can't take a shower after sweating all that to set up the car. Um, and we didn't really want to set up the tent just for one night. So anyways, we're hoping tomorrow, t tonight is a better night's sleep. If you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron J. Kaplan. This is my wife, Anila, our daughter, Nasa, and her daughter, Bonalisa. Um, we're, and her backpack, and her backpack, who? And we're currently preparing for a trip from Alaska down to the southern tip of South America starting with a practice run from the east coast to the west coast and back of the united states so right now we're headed from tallahassee to new orleans and we're making a stop at konica national forest in alabama and we're going to be staying at open pond campground there for one night it sure was nice to be welcomed in alabama with this welcome to sweet home alabama sign Right here, as you see, $16 with hookups. That is America the Beautiful Pass discount. It's $12. $8 without hookups, that's us. With the pass, it's only $4 a night. And all you do, you take one of these envelopes. Take an envelope. Fill it out. Get your stub. A stub is what you keep, and it goes on the um, site there's a little post that has a clip they use clip that on to show that your this is your site that's your stub this is a hang tag that goes on the car proof of payment this is where you put the payment and you deposit it in there but first we have to go see what spot we're gonna take write it on the stub put the stub there come back with our payment deposit it and then we're gonna go do laundry or we might not do laundry, we might just take a shower and air dry or maybe even wet wipe shower. Though this campground was absolutely beautiful and we would love to return someday and hope to be able to do so, we were only able to stay for one night as we were on a time crunch to get to New Orleans on our way to Colorado. If you'd like to see how we spent our time at Ocean Pond Campground and further in New Orleans, look out for part two of this Driving Dreams episode 12. And if you're interested in following along on our journey around the Americas, Consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications to all. $4 well spent.